is trying to reverse the trend of prisoners going back to jail in our state, and it's working. Some statistics show more than 65% of former inmates will be behind bars again within three years of their release. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo introduces us to a two-time convict now sharing her success story. You'll only see the story on 3. 341-916, ma'am. That's the Department of Corrections number that defined Marisol Garcia during her time at York Correctional Institution. It's worse when they just minimize you to a number. Marisol first went to prison for larceny and forgery from 2006 to 2010. But in 2015, she violated her probation and was sentenced a second time. For years, they refused to call you by your name. It was after her second incarceration that Marisol said she dedicated herself to getting a college degree. She began her coursework in prison through Trinity College. I'm not going back for a third time. She got out in 2019, but Marisol says even college classes under her belt couldn't keep that inmate number from following her. The first job I could get was working at a Burger King, working third shift at a Burger King, getting sexually harassed by the manager. But then she was accepted into Trinity College's individualized degree program. She's studying public policy and law. I think it's better to have a face of someone who has gone through the experience. Trinity faculty and employees who run and promote the school's prison education program say Marisol is just one example of success that starts behind bars. They have a real depth of curiosity and some widely ranging questions and they challenge us as faculty. It's really about changing how we view criminal justice and uh, the correction system. I took two classes in the summer, five this semester, and five more next semester. <laughs> After 15 years spent either locked up or under supervision, Marisol set to finish her degree in less than two. She'll never forget the number that was next to her name as an inmate for so long. That number is what pushed me to get to where I'm at today. But she's choosing to focus on the new one, Marisol Garcia, class of 2022. It reminds you of where you've come from and the path that you traveled to get there. In Hartford, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.